This is Twit. But now I'd like to highlight a little gadget that our, our very own John Slanina built for me. Jammer B. Hand-built. Ja Had-built. You didn't do this yourself? Who built this? Oh, Tap Plastics made it. So it's a... Okay, so I'm going to tell a little bit of a story here because this, this actually... This is something that he did while I was uh, on vacation. I got this sign. You see this? The right on the air sign. I got this when I... It, in 1984... When I first came to work in radio in San Francisco, uh, I was working at a company called a Clock Radio, K-L-O-K -K Radio, and they had right. bought a San Francisco, an old hippie station, what they call an album-oriented rock station called KKSF in 1984, and they were taking it over, and I was the first DJ, this was my first appearance in San Francisco Radio, the first DJ to sit down in the chair and turn on the mic and play the record in this old station. And the last guy, he was leaving, he was playing, I don't know, you know, Whiter Shade of Pale or whatever a hippie crap they were playing on that station. <laughs> okay, right. No. Actually, it was a great old station. It was a legend in San Francisco. And then he, you know, he, the record ended and I took over. And he started walking out. And I said, wait a minute, dude, you left your right on the air sign here. You know, every radio station has an on-the-air sign, but yes, in a hippie yes. station, it's not just on the air, it's right on the right air, on. dude. And, you know, in this classic 1970s Peter yeah. Max font and everything, and it was literally, it was in the door of KKSF, it was the on-the-air light that would come on. I said, Do you, don't you want that? He said, no, man, you keep it, it's okay, man. <sighs> Later. And he ran <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, and uh, so I inherited... What is a great piece of San Francisco radio memorabilia. And for a long time, if you've ever seen any of our shows, you've probably seen this piece of plastic sitting on the set there. But it never, uh, you know, did what it used to do. Because when I took it down, I, you know, it, normally a right on the air sign lights up when you're on the air. Um, yeah. So I tasked John Slanina. I said, well, you know, is, if there's any way you could make this work again, because we needed an on the air light for, uh, for my new studio. And, so, and he did, in fact, watch, because when I turn on the mic now, it lights up oh, and it says wow. right on the air. Isn't that awesome? I'm so happy about it. So let me talk nice. a little bit about what he did. So it's totally wireless? Uh, it's wired, isn't it, John? So my, my, uh, my, my, my console, the Axia console that I use in that studio, and all, and all radio mixers have this feature. Even like you go back to the old days, this mixer here, they have a little, uh, I don't know what it is, 5 volt. Five volt uh, thing on the back. Then when you flip the mic switch, as I'm doing here, you flip oh, the mic switch. It, it okay. powers that five volt thing. Not enough to power a light bulb, but enough to signal a switch that the, the mic is on. And when it's off, it turns it off. So um, John set this up so that it would it would respond when I turn on the mic. It turns on, but it's not wireless. The uh, the the pl tap plastics built the box, which is really nice, nicely done. Uh, there are. I, are they all over the uh, country, or is it just a local, local okay. firm? Yeah, they're great. I love tap plastics. They do plexiglass fabrication and stuff. And then they made it so that this store would open up. And John's actually gotten a little fancy. I didn't realize this on this, but these are LED strips, not regular light bulbs, but low power LED strips. Oh, nice! So the tap plastics box cost us about a hundred bucks to manufacture that box, and they fit. They made it just right, so it would fit the sign right into the front there. Did you glue it in, John? Yeah. yeah. And then um, and then John got the strips, the LED strips. So five volts is enough to power these, right? No? no? You still have a transformer or something? Yeah. And then uh, we've actually set it up here for a switch, just a regular switch, okay, light right. switch. Yeah, okay. So when you flip the light switch, the uh, the lights go on. And that's that's plenty bright. They're about 20 bucks for these LED strips. And he fabbed the whole thing. And you know what? It's about the cleanest design. It looks so much better than it did at the old KKSF, I have to say. Yeah. And it's really bright. You can see it. Uh, so when you watch the radio show now, you'll note. I mean, when my mic's off, you'll see it go off. And so if you're watching the video, you'll know. But, of course, when you're, watch, when you're listening to the radio show, the only time you'll ever see me is when it's on because the microphone is on. So it says right on the air. I just love that. John, thank you so nice. much for doing that. What year was that, Leo, that you got that? Uh, I got it in 1984, but it had been in use in that old KKSF. I should really look at the history of KKSF, but I would guess it had been in use since the 60s, 20 wow. years probably. Yeah. Wow. 20, you know, 15 or 20 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Super. Right on, dude. 
And thank you to John Slanina for making this for me, man. It is beautiful. I really like it. Right on, dude. It to me, it's just kind of a cool on the air. I think it's great. Sign. Isn't that great? Yeah. So we'll, we'll actually turn it on and leave it on since we are on the air. Right we now. are on the air. Yeah. Well, it kind of feels actually, like a Mad Magazine thing. You know, I mean, it's that yeah, era, isn't it? Yeah. It's just great. Yeah. I, I don't know why, but I, I, I suddenly feel a touch more professional than I did a minute. <laughs>